Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back to the show. We're excited to have Carolyn Stolzenfeld joining us here today live on the podcast and on the Zoomcast here. She's the creator and founder of Wildfire Dreams, and we are excited to have her back here today to talk more about uh, her life coaching that she does with a twist. (laughs) Please introduce yourself. Hi. Hi, yes, I'm Carolyn Stilzenfels, and I am definitely the founder and creator of Wildfire Dreams. It's uh, creative coaching with horses. Perfect. So beautiful, which I can't wait to get into. If you are new to the show, uh, we'll give you a little bit of our background before we get started today. And uh, would you mind sharing a little bit about um, your love of horses, fascination with them, and the benefit it can provide your clients? Absolutely. Um, So I became an equine gestalt life coach um, for that exact reason, because horses have a healing ability um, just by being around them that I noticed myself being a horse owner and I wanted to learn more. So I found this beautiful program based out of Colorado called Touch by a Horse. Mm -hmm. And it is um, an incredible certification program that partners the philosophy of gestalt coaching with horses. And so that's what I do now. Beautiful. And how can we find you? Could you share your website, phone number, any social media pages? Sure. It's all at wildfiredreams.com. Um, all of my social media is also Wildfire Dreams. It's a pretty easy, easy thing to look us up. Um, I have blogs all the time. I have photos of our beloved herd. I, I tend to maybe take way too many photos, but I enjoy sending them out to the world. And that's, yeah, that's what we do. And you have an amazing background in art. I know you want to share a little bit about that because you have a workshop coming up. So would you mind sharing uh, that? Oil painting too. I mean, she she does a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, yeah. So my undergraduate degree is in art. I majored in oil painting. And so I became an art teacher um, so that I could make some money, right? <laughs> and uh, it's always been a passion of mine um, to include art in anything that I do. And so... This workshop that I'm providing this weekend is kind of a tiptoe. It's it's a great way to um, experience some self-awareness without actually diving right into coaching. I think a lot of people have a huge fear of getting a life coach or making the commitment to get help or, you know, stepping in to have somebody hold them accountable. That's all so scary. And most people are like, no way. I am not doing that. I I don't want to do it. Well, these workshops that I provide are baby steps. They're great ways for people to learn a little bit about themselves, express themselves creatively and have fun at the same time. Beautiful. And one of these upcoming workshops, where can we find them? Are they in person or virtual or both? You know, these um these workshops are locally right now, and so they are in person. Um, I am blessed to have the use of a beautiful venue in Bay Harbor, Michigan. So I am able to uh, meet people there. It's a it's a it's very accessible for people. They don't have to drive out to the farm. Um, and so because I, I get to work in this ballroom, it's an excellent place to do projects and to meet as a group. And I know creativity is something that you wanted to talk about today, which uh, clearly you are and doing a lot and how, um, you know, the mind you say needs to be creative, right? Yeah. You know, it's so interesting to me how all of us as adults, we forget, we forget that when we went to school, you know, there was a balanced program. We had math, we had science, we had English, we had social studies, and then we also had creative expression of some sort, whether it was art, music, even physical fitness, all of those things kind of gave our bodies a chance to balance the things that we were doing for the quote quote, unquote core subjects. Well, as adults, we kind of all have these careers, especially a professional career where we are, we are fully focused on some type of problem solving business. Business is huge, right? Like that's what makes the world go round. And we forget about balancing our our skill set with some sort of creative expression. Um, and when we do that, of course, the body gets stressed, 
right? The body gets stressed and then we start feeling that. We start feeling the consequences. Um, it's too bad, really, that there are so many people out there that are, you know, right off the get-go say, I'm so stressed, I can't handle this anymore. Well, it's probably because they're not allowing themselves any type of balance in their life. Wow, you just described me to a T. Oh gosh. <laughs> I just said it last night. I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed as a, a single mom with a six and eight-year-old. And there's no every other weekends. I'm 24-7 with my kids, right? And working full time and making sure I'm home to get them off the bus and feeding them and taking them to all their sports and everything. And I just don't get a break. And and people wonder why I, I don't date. I, I there's no time for it. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm so stressed. And so yeah, you get to know me. And that's one of my biggest quotes. I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. And my sister, who's married with two kids, doesn't understand how I'm so stressed. And I'm like, you have a partner you live with. We don't have that. It's mom doing everything. I said, you have a little more of a balance. And um, everyone has their own you know, share. But I say it all the time. I'm so stressed. And I feel like I'm not myself. I don't oh, feel yeah. well. You know, infection, got to stop. You know, you're more bodies prone to breaking down and to yes. getting sick. And so uh, I sound probably a lot a lot like your clients. So, right, talking about the anxiety and the stress, but that's why we need some help and love and some TLC. <laughs> it's so true, Jill. I completely empathize with you. I, I remember those days of having uh, my, my little one. I have two kids. They're a little bit older now. And it is so incredibly challenging single moms are superheroes. You are a superhero for what you are doing, not only for your children, but just modeling for the rest of the world that you can do this. However, <laughs> taking time for yourself is imperative for you to keep going. I can't tell you how many of my clients I um, find reminding them that in order for them to take care of everyone else, They've got to take care of themselves. There's some unique part of a mother that shows up for everyone else before ourselves. We put ourselves on the back burner. And I think it's innate. I think it's just a part of what we become as mothers. And yet that nourishment is what we need to keep going. You know, it's it's that it's so important so that we don't get burned out you know, and we don't lose our tempers with our kids or we don't snap at people and then feel guilty about all those things. You know, we guilty, yeah. Yeah. Guilt guilt like weighs you down. It weighs you down. And it's so um it's so not necessary. That's what my life is all about is reminding people it's not necessary for this to happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's harming others like my children when I had that outbreak yesterday because I was upset and I started yelling. And then you notice those behaviors now going into my children. And I oh. said, oh, where is that coming from? Oh, I see. Because the apple doesn't fall fall too far from the tree. And um, wow, I, I get it. Now, explain to us how the horses fit in and tell me about where you live, the type of horses you have and you know how these horses can really help heal human beings, let alone yourself, right? Yes. So horses have this phenomenal ability of affecting our heart rate from the get go. So if you become, um, if you visit a farm, if you were to visit a farm right now in New York, and act, of course, if you could go near the horses, if you could just groom them, it would change your blood pressure. Really? Yes. So horses have this innate ability to affect a human being's physiological state just by being next to them. And our horses, the horses that we have are very, you know, they are trained to be gentle and kind and not run someone over or kick them or step on them. You know, our horses are around people all the time and they are specifically chosen for this type of work where they are put in an arena with a person and give that horse the choice to do whatever is necessary to help this person get um get clarity and I always call them aha moments, but it's truly a moment of clarity where things become clear about their specific situation. Got it. And how many horses do you have? And so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I have four large horses and then one little miniature horse. Um, my 
my magical horse, without a doubt, is Magic. Magic is a 20-year-old Tennessee walker. He's a black and white paint, absolutely beautiful uh, horse. And he was the one who really showed me that this is what horses can do besides you know, besides being incredible riding partners, besides being, you know, horses that you can show and, and horses that do tricks. This is something else that horses will do if they choose to help humans. And so he was really what got the ball started for sure. Um, I think that when people visit a farm, sometimes they aren't sure if horses are going to be friendly or not. I've had a lot of clients ask me about um, how would you know, you know, how would you know if a horse is safe, if a horse is willing to um, listen to you, you know, and a lot of that has to do with, with the owners and where the horse comes from. It has to do with, you know, volunteering at a horse rescue is an excellent way to get exposure to horses that have kind of been around the block. Some of them are definitely not willing to work with humans, but a majority of them are. I think that horses really are God's gift to humanity. It's amazing to me that they're one of the only creatures besides dogs. Dogs are the, um, the same way where they affect our heart rate um, when we are around them. It's probably why so many people have pets. Mm -hmm. We have cats, but okay. So what else did you want to share about working with them and how does the process work? Is it one-on-one? -on -one? Is it groups? Is it, you know, explain that it's fascinating sure. and you got to go to the website too by the way could you share oh yeah wildfiredreams.com yes okay, wildfiredreams.com so when a person shows up at the barn and i prefer private sessions i think that they are a beautiful way to get started in this type of self-awareness and moving forward in your life later on it is a really nice thing to um, attend a group session where you are with again a small group small group of eight to ten nothing else um, and we we really do a deep container first we get together we share a little bit about ourselves and it's not always sharing what you think. It's not like my name and my occupation. No, it's more, it's it's a little bit deeper than that. Like I might ask the question, what is the one thing that your mother taught you about being a woman? And then everyone answers that. <laughs> yeah, and that usually sets us up. No pain, you know? no gain. <laughs> my mom was always, I got my what? Hey. My mom always had to look good and do her makeup and hair. And I'm like, I'm not that way. Like my mom, like thought, you know, different, but we learn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Great question. Right. It really does. Um, it does hit the nail on the head with, with the types of things that we are going to be exploring. And then the horses of course are surrounding us. So in my barn, we have um, these these beautiful run-ins, which means the horse can kind of go in and out. They can come into the barn, they can go out to the paddock. And so they get to choose whether they're going to be with us or not. Every single session that I've had in my barn, the horses choose to come into the barn and be with the clients. They, they are perfectly welcome to go out and be in the pasture and graze, you know, or sleep or do whatever. That part I do find fascinating is that the energy that is within the barn, they feel it's necessary for them to be there. They they want to be there just by their choosing. And so we work together, the client and I, yes, I am a direct coach. I like to get to the to the heat of where things are really um, challenging for the client and, and the horse is there the whole time. Once we are able to do an experience, um, that's what I call them. It's when we find some major hurdle that is stopping this person from living their best life. And we do an experience, a gestalt experience. It means we activate every part of this person, their subconscious, their conscious, their experiences, their feelings. The horse then, <clears throat> the horse then becomes part of the session because I take the person in with the horse and the horse is allowed to um, interact with that person in whatever way they seem um, inclined to do. Horses know when you're kind of full of baloney. <laughs> and so during the session, if I were to ask the client to speak their truth about some 
event or about how they feel, if they were truly embodying their own truth and speaking it freely, a horse will stay right with them. That horse will walk with them around the arena because they are embodying their truth. Now, if the horse, if the person decides to fib, <laughs> if the ho- if the person decides to get in their head and say, you know, I am going to do this, and they're lying, the horse will stop following them, and the horse will ignore them. Wow. Yeah, the horse knows. You know, somebody could tell me, I am going to talk to my mother after having this session, even though I haven't talked to her in 15 years because, you know, she was the meanest person in the world. And if she, if that client says that and she means it with all her heart, the horse will stay with her. If she doesn't, I don't know from Adam if she's actually lying. She said it to me. You know, she said, hey, I am going to speak with my mother. I am ready to move forward. Well, she can say that and I can believe her. But if she is not saying it with all of her grounded energy, the horse knows you cannot fool a horse. And so I would be able to know that she is not embodying that truth by what the horse did. Amazing. And then you yeah. discuss it? Like, oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. The horse is a part of the coaching session. I'll say, well, you know, that's interesting because magic just said you are full of baloney, <laughs> you know, or whatever it might be. And um, of course, person calls themselves out because they know they're well, in a judgment free mm-hmm. zone. You know, there is no judgments. Um, in our coaching practice, I think all of the equine gestalt coaches really embody that spirit of no judgment. This is a safe zone of of feeling free to speak all of your truths and and saying, you know what, the horse is right. I, I probably am not ready to talk to my mother right now. So it is it is an absolutely fascinating thing to watch. Um, it's probably why, yeah, a lot of, a lot of equine gestalt coaches love to hold groups because everyone gets borrowed benefit from, from observing that everyone gets borrowed benefit from being a part of this very sacred circle of women. Usually it's women, um, but it can be men too. And they all feel and see and experience how this horse is interacting with this Amazing. person. Yeah, it is. It's very cool. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. What else did you want to add to this? Well, you know, I think it's important for people to know that you don't always have to go to a horse farm um, to enjoy the magic of horses. I do believe that there are so many ways out there where you can visit, you know, horse shows and horse expos and be close to them sometimes just getting a card in the mail with a horse on it the picture of a horse can help calm a person's mental state Um, i offer coaching online um, zoom coaching like i'm doing today i have several clients that just don't even live in the state of michigan Mm -hmm. and they prefer to have this type of coaching i will say horses brought them to me because they either have a horse or they used to have a horse. And that was why they felt like we connected together. Um, But they don't have horses in their lives anymore. Um, I have one client that she's actually deathly afraid of horses. (laughs) And so for her, it's not necessarily about being near the horse. It's more the spirit of the horse that she wants in her life. She wants freedom in her life. And to her, when she sees horses, it represents freedom for her. And I think it's fascinating that that's what brought her to me. She wants freedom. And so she was like, okay, that you are the closest thing to what I see in my life as giving me freedom in my life. So that's what I do. I can, I can zoom coach as well. <laughs> Beautiful. And how long do you normally coach someone for to get their breakthrough in a sense, or change that habit and find that happiness? It, That's a great question. Um, 
it is so amazing to me how fast it is. Most of my clients have a lot of uncovering to do. We usually figure this out within the first two sessions. Sessions are only an hour. If someone comes to the barn and they are working through a lot of things, it may go over it, maybe 90 minutes maybe two hours, but no longer than that. That's usually as long as a person can handle. But as far as how long will this person see me really depends on what we're uncovering. I've had clients that have come for three sessions and they are amazed at how they've let go of all of their weight. They've let go of all of these things and they were able to drop them in the dirt and they no longer are carrying them with with them through their life. And then I've had people that have had to come because there was so much, Yeah, you know, there was so much to uncover and we would uncover things and then something else would come up and they didn't even know it existed. And so it's, it is kind of fascinating the way um, this modality works where we are giving people the opportunity to say what they needed to say when they didn't get to say it, you know, when they were a child or speak their truth about, you know, wrongfully getting fired or whatever it might be, you know, whatever it might be, it really does depend. Well, thank you. How did you want to close out for today, Carolyn? You know, I want to thank you, Jill, for having me. I think it's a beautiful thing what you're doing, the time that you spend interviewing people. and giving- I love it. It's a, it's <laughs> just, I, I have the best job ever. I get to talk to people all over the world every day and learn about them. I'm just a people person. I'm, you may be a horse communicator. I'm an animal communicator. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm a human communicator, but no, I just, I simply love it. I love it. And I get to meet amazing people like yourself and it just teaches me so much about humanity about people, about different walks of life and the overall, I feel like the world about that we live in. It's just so sacred. And I'm so blessed to be living here each and every day. Thankful for my family, for my friends, for the job. And and it's like, life is so short and precious. And I just love seeing who else is out there and just, you know, to feel like we're in such a, a big place. We feel like we're a small little world, but look, here we are connecting. It's amazing what the pandemic has done. Everyone's on Zoom meeting, talking. It's just like, so I'm excited about this change. <laughs> That's so awesome. And it, and it's true. You get to you get to interview the light workers in the world. Yeah, you get yeah. to speak with these people that are making all of these changes in life and and really providing incredible services for people. So, you know, yeah. I want to thank you for that. I want people to yeah. know Wildfire Dreams um is a is a wonderful little website to visit. You know, some people have told me just going to visit the website change the way they think. Yeah. And to me, that is a win. You know, Perfect. that is a win. So well, let's make sure we do it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope you have a fantastic day and stay warm. And I'm going to try to cool down. It's just so hot in here today. Sorry. Uh, but you have a great day. And <laughs> I got the sweater on the lap. <laughs> and great we'll uh, we'll uh, talk soon. Okay. Thank you again. Carolyn. All right, Jill. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend. You too. Bye-bye. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go, and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. 
We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.